Good morning, internets. Today I thought I would actually show you how I put together my sticker scraps book. There's really not a lot to it, to be honest, but I still had the kit from last week. So if you watched last week's Plan For Me video, you'll remember that I used this full bloom kit from Lemon Paper Co. And I hadn't actually put this in my book yet, so I thought I would just do that on camera and talk to you guys so you can see how I get that done. So basically, in case you're not familiar with the idea, I use this planner, mostly just this planner, to store old kits that I use for spreads. So some of these may look familiar. So this is like a scribble prints kit that I'd used, but I don't always use all the stickers as you've seen in a lot of plan with me. So I cut them out and I just stick them in here and that means that I have a consolidated place that I can come to when I am doing a plan with me or I'm planning in any of my planners to come back and pull from these stickers because the thing that really bothered me after a while, if you're the sort of person that does a lot of unique spreads in your planners, you end up with a lot of leftover stickers from your kits. So I literally had like folders, really thick folders of, I mean, kits like this where I'd used up all the core or the key stickers that I needed for that spread and then I'm left with say leftover headers or icons and that sort of thing and they're way obviously they're just too good for me to throw away I mean I spent a lot of money on these stickers so I don't really just want to throw them away just because I didn't use them for the kit it just feels wasteful I know some people do that's just me personally I'm a bit of a hoarder so that might be one of the issues maybe but I wanted to find a way where I could access it very easily when I was doing my plan for me so that I could reuse stickers if I wanted to because the problem with keeping it all in a really chunky folder is that when I do any planning it means that I have to like go through a folder like I think I have an example here where and it's just very time consuming so for example I used to keep them in something like this which is just kind of like it's just a really big folder and you can just see there's just lots and lots of stickers that I've used parts of and there's a lot of leftover stickers and it is time consuming to just kind of flip through especially when some of them are smaller like this so they kind of hide away and I don't know I just didn't find that very useful but I do remember that my sticker book which I still use today this one I filmed a video on this ages ago and I'll link that down below if you want to watch it I always use stickers out of this because it is so easy to flip through and find the stickers you want so I figured I'd use the same concept for my sticker scraps so I call this my sticker scraps planner where I just have a lot of leftovers and these are good leftovers like you have full checkboxes icons this is stuff that I've used and it just makes me really happy that I can reuse stickers and I don't have to throw them out so everything has a purpose so that was a long-winded way to explain what this book does. I'm going to go through the process of what I do. So when you buy Kiki K planners, I'm not sure how many of you do use Kiki K planners, but just I think any sort of uh, like ring-bound planners will come with inserts. I personally don't use the Kiki K inserts. I really want to, but the paper is just so thin and it's really not that great quality. I find that my pen will leak through and it rips really easily like it's just not solid, which I think is why a lot of people prefer to use the so much crafting inserts because that's so much better quality. The paper is thicker, you can do more with it. So I think that's the main reason, at least that's the main reason for me. But I keep these inserts anyways because, like I said, I'm a hoarder and I don't like to throw things out. And I, oh great, I just noticed that the sun is coming out really inconsistent now. I'm just gonna keep going. So I keep these sheets and I had kept them for a long time not knowing what I was gonna do with them. So I actually have quite a healthy stack of them. And then when this idea came up, I thought I could just stick these stickers on here, which is what you can see. All these are just pages from the Kiki K planner and I've just stuck stickers on them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I like to cut out the logo part of each of the sticker sheets so that when I do look at these kits, for example here, Planning Roses, I know that this kit came from Planning Roses so that when I want to give credit or tag the right companies, I can do that. So that's the main reason. So I'm just going to get right into this. <laughs> finished cutting out all the extra stickers and I usually do that all up front so then I can start placing them on. I am going to put all these away and I'm going to start rearranging this and see if I can fit it all into one page. If not, I'll just flip it. 
Okay, I'm definitely not going to be able to fit it onto one page. I still got these ones on the side left over. So these ones I will put in the back, but I will stick these down now and then I will do the rest. So I know a lot of people use different ways of gluing their stickers down. You can use a glue stick, um, you can use any sort of glue. I personally prefer to use things like this, which is like, it's like sticky tape, but it's like a glue tape instead. And I like this more than anything because firstly, it's not as messy, but also it doesn't, doesn't change the consistency of your paper. So if you were to use wet glue, that might change the way your paper is. It might make it more crinkly um, just because of the moisture. Glue sticks are actually fine. I have no issue, but I find that they peel off quite easily with a glue stick. So I guess it depends which brand you use. Personally, if you're going to use a glue stick, I would recommend this one. I don't know actually what the name is, Ranger. I got this from a bunch of subscription boxes a while back and I love these so much. I found that they work better than the, the yellow tube ones that I used to get as a kid. I just find that they really stay down so I would normally use this but they do get a little bit messy because if you want to glue the edges or anything like that, etc. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this. So that's the first page done, so I'll just flip that over and I will organize the rest of these. I know a lot of people might look at this and say, look, I really don't have time to do this. It is quite time. It's not time consuming because by the time I finish editing and filming this whole video, it's only going to be about 20 minutes. So it's really not a ton of time. And personally, it's a bit to me like scrapbooking and general planning. It's very therapeutic. So I like to do this when I'm watching TV or I mean, there is never a time when I watch TV or movie or YouTube and I'm not physically doing something like I'm always editing stuff, designing stuff or doing stuff like this. So that's what that's why I think it's worth it because it's it's not something I sit down and specially do except this time because I'm filming a video for it. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to stick these down. <laughs> So as you can see, I feel like I've condensed all those sheets, which it's just like a scrap of stuff now, so I'm not going to really show it. But condense them all just to one easy sheet that I can refer to very quickly. So I'm just going to get to the front part. I have a few spare sheets at the start just for times like this. But, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So I really hope you found this video interesting. I don't know how many people would actually find it useful because it's pretty self-explanatory, but I thought it was fun to do nonetheless and it gave me an excuse to... I was going to do this anyway, so I thought why not just turn the camera on and do it. And you guys can see exactly what I, how I store my excess stickers. So I hope that gives you at least maybe an idea or maybe makes you think about how you can reuse some of your old kits that you may have finished. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you internet. Mm -hmm.